For the past two weeks or so, we've been talking about the brand new Blender here, and it looks like this is finally coming and it will be shipping with the LTS version of Blender 3.3. The folks at Blender Foundation have come through with a couple of things. It now makes sense owing to the brand new The Future of Hair Grooming blog that is now here. This covers a couple of nice things that just simply makes having to work with the hair system a very nice one. And for the most part, for those who have actually used tools like the Yeti tool for Maya, you will definitely find this one very comforting. Now, the idea here is for you to be able to create hairs faster and work with two different modes. The folks at Blender Foundation have this very, very interesting way of creating tools which actually deals with a project. So currently, they're working on Project Heist, which has to do with a character that has hairs. And this is one way to create a usable and a well-polished tool for Blender users. And for those who would like to take a look at this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can read up on all of the amazing things that will be coming to the brand new hair tools in Blender. This has two major workflow, which actually makes it even way more exciting. Now with this tool, you'll be able to work in two ways. And this makes sense a lot. Like I mentioned earlier, if you've been working with tools like the Yeti tool from Maya, you will definitely find this one very useful because all you need to do is create the hair strands on your viewport. And from there, you can transcend and start making some very interesting things with the procedural node. Things like scraggling, some twists, some, you know, kink and all that stuff can be done with the node editor. While you can actually play with the pinching, the puffing, the shrinking, the combing, and all of that clumping stuff with the viewport. And I seem to find this as the best of both worlds that just simply makes this pop. Currently, the hair system supports tons of hair, and once you're editing hair, you can edit 120,000 hair strands at the same time. So this is very useful because at this point, Axie should be able to add and remove hair and even transform this hair in very different ways than one. Something that is very nice right now is if you want to take a look at the hair grooming file, which is being displayed on your screen, you can actually get this totally for free and you actually don't need to be a subscriber to the Blender Studio or the Blender Cloud to get this. You can get it right now and start testing it. So if you scroll all the way down to this section, you'll be able to download the hair grooming file and at the same time download the alpha version of Blender 3.3. And just to prove that this is definitely going to be coming to Blender 3.3, if you go over here where we get the reference file of, you know, things to be released in the common versions of Blender, you would see this here. So it just makes sense to see that this is finally going to be coming to Blender. So if you go over to the highest page where you definitely find the hair grooming file, you can download these and start playing with it. So once you get the file and you open it up, this is basically what you get. So you get the main file, which is very interesting. This is the file the folks at Blender Foundation are working with. So this gives you two things. The very first one is you get to play real time with the tools the folks at Blender Foundation are using to create the project heist. Secondly, you can study this. So right here, they've actually made a couple of nodes which you can drive based on certain things. So right now you can drive things like the hair, the noise of the hair, the thickness and all that. And it just makes sense. So one thing which I would like to see in subsequent release is maybe there could be presets for this thing. So you don't necessarily need to go over and start doing all of this node generation yourself but rather you'll be able to just drag and drop from a preset and tweak this and polish it however you want. By all means, grab this file and play with it. Some other things that you might want to also know is if you're thinking about rendering this, currently, if you switch this to Eevee, this just simply renders the hair because you know the textures are not for Eevee, but then if you switch over to Cycles, then you'll be able to get this rendering properly. Something else which you can do perfectly is to take a look at the geometry nodes, study them and try to implement them in your own project. And this is not to say that you cannot make tweaks to this. You can definitely make tweaks to them as this is more of a grooming demo file of Project Heist. At the same time, this should serve as a learning tool. For those who like to take a look at this, I'm gonna put a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can check out all of these things and read them up for yourself. A couple of things have been teased as things that might coming over to Blender 3.3, but this currently is rock solid and has been proven to be one of the features that we will be seeing in the LTS release of Blender 3.3. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you'd like to download any of these or maybe you want to get these, links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And for sure, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.